Before I get started, I just wanted to say a massive thanks to everyone who uh, commented on my uh, previous video. Maybe like you know anyone who shared it, sent me a message about it, liked it on YouTube. It's all like really appreciated. Uh, so thanks a lot for that. I wanted to do another video about um, the essential uh, training equipment uh, and what I think you need to be able to train effectively at home. We're all stuck at home. Uh, climbing walls are closed. Uh, pretty limited facilities um, at the moment. So. Uh, I think it's good to, to think about what we need at home to be able to train effectively uh, but to not get too bogged down by the detail. So the most essential piece of equipment for training at home, a fingerboard. This is a very new Beastmaker 1000, okay, I've not actually been using the Beastmaker 1000 a lot recently. Um, but I'm going to start using it again and I'm going to do a video about why I think actually that I prefer this board over a Beastmaker 2000 so keep an eye out for that. This is you know, everything you need really uh, in terms of fingerboard. We've got a good selection of edges, we've got some jugs on the top for warming up on uh, and for doing some pull-ups on. Um, we've got some smaller edges, we've got some pockets, we've got some slopers as well. Maybe you want to sort of use those things if you've got something really specific that you're training for. I find wood is the best texture to go for uh, over resin. Uh, it's just a bit kinder on the skin, although it is uh, a little bit slippy to start with and it does take a little bit of time to bed in as well, so it's worth factoring that in. But yeah, Beastmaker 1000, piece of equipment number one. So most of the training I do on a fingerboard is with weight added uh, or weight removed to allow me to kind of dial in the intensity. Um, so, you know, we need some weights. Uh, I've got a selection of kettlebells, uh, some plate weights um, from some dumbbells that I use, which kind of allow me to fine tune the weight. So, essential item number two, some kettlebells or some weights. Number three, a sling and some snap gates. So, uh, this is a 120 centimeter sling. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, an old bit of rope would also work. I use this to attach the weights to my harness. Item number four, a harness. So I just use an old harness that I can no longer use for climbing because it's uh, a little bit battered. I left the leg loops on because I like sometimes when I'm using the weight for assistance, um, so the weight is pulling me up um, rather than pulling me down, uh, I think it's nice to have the extra support from the leg loops. A pulley, okay, this is just a mega simple uh, Petzl, I think, pulley with a snap gate. Um, so I use this to um, allow me to remove weight from myself um, when I'm training at intensities that are lower than my body weight. It doesn't really matter what pulley you use, the key is to use the same one every time. The same pulley that you use when you test, if you, if you do any testing, uh, is the same pulley that you use during your session. As long as you're using the same pulley throughout all your sessions, you can track the progress really well and, and consistently. Ultimately, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing the work. So item number something, a pulley. Uh, last few items now. So next one, a bit of rope. So I use the rope with the pulley, clip the rope into me on one end. This bit goes through the pulley, weight goes on the other end. It pulls me up, pretty simple. An old bit of rope. The most important item last, chalk, yeah. Boulder bucket, bit of chalk, some brushes in there. Good to keep the uh, your hands well chalked, especially when you're training at home and the central heating's been on all day and you're sweating. You, your shiny Beastmaker 1000 that you've not used, um, it is a little bit slippy compared to what you're used to. Chalk is essential. Uh, I've not got it out, I kind of meant to get it, but um, some people use liquid chalk at home because it doesn't uh, float around in the air as much and ruin your carpets. Chalk for me. Final item, um, it's a bit of a bulky one, so that's why I've left it until last, but it's, it's actually quite important, um, is a fingerboard mount. Uh, this is what I use, it's a crusher mount, okay? It goes in a doorway, um, clamps into the doorway, and your fingerboard screws into it. I've seen sort of other methods of attaching fingerboards to uh, the, your house if you're not able to drill it into the walls. Maybe one of those removable pull-up bars, I'll put a picture up here somewhere with a fingerboard dangling off it might work as well. You get creative, there's loads of options out there for mounting a fingerboard at home. That's everything I use mostly for training at home. I do a lot of core work on the floor, I do core work on the fingerboard, uh, on the jugs. I use the dumbbells every so often to do some basic strength training but largely my home training is done on a fingerboard. I hope you found that useful. Um, let me know in the comments if I've missed anything, if there's anything that you think is essential for training at home. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions or suggestions. Uh, thanks a lot for listening and I look forward to chatting again with you very soon.